Culture is brought to you by Quest International University Perak. Hi guys, see you again in home later and this is Fahinra Jabbar. Okay, today we're going to have a very special episode when we have a special guest from our university. Okay, Mr. Sean, can you introduce yourself? Hi. This is Gautam Shah. I'm pursuing Diploma in Business Management at Quest International University. I'm from Bangladesh and I'm a January 2015 intake. So we are going to present something today. So wish you cooperation. Hope you're going to enjoy these things. Let's enjoy. Okay, so Mr. Shan, as we know that we have a specific topic to be discussed today and our topic, don't waste our time because this is a very short online learning. So the topic is motivation. Can you share little bit about motivation in your own opinion, Mr. Shah. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Jabbar. Uh, really, motivation is a crucial task for each and every single organization. This is the common phenomenon nowadays. The motivation is the part of leadership. It means the encouraging or influencing people to achieve the organizational goal or accomplish the organizational goals in an effective and efficient way. Though is a critical task. Okay, thanks for your thought. Okay, in a simple word, we can consider that motivation is a compulsory for everyone. Obviously, to stimulate from the family, friends, relatives, society, or encouraging to do something good or betterment for the society or achieve some goal in organization, motivation is an unavoidable factor or aspect in management leadership. Perfect. Okay, so we're talking about motivation itself, Mr. Shan. So, we, we can consider that there is a lot of the theories, so many theories used by the manager itself to, in order to motivate the employee nowadays. So, do you have, do you familiar with any uh, theories for motivation and used by the manager nowadays, Mr. Shah? Yeah, you are absolutely right. There is the several theories uh, like concepts and ideology from the several experts or intellectuals. The most popular one is the Maslow's, McGregor theories, McLellan theories, and some few more. But the Maslow's one is the famous and popular now all over the world. Okay. Can you tell us about that? Because I'm not really sure what is the Maslow hierarchy. Oh, really? Okay. Mr. Shai? Okay, that's great. Uh, the Maslow's theory, known as the Maslow's hierarchy needs as well, uh, introduced by the Abraham Maslow's in the year of 1954 in his book, The Motivation and Personality. Perfect. Basically, this kind of uh, theory is most popular when you're dealing with the human employees or uh, staff in your organization. Basically, to understand the human's behavior, self-development, and skill enhancement for the employee. What is the most important thing is our needs. Right. So it means everyone can be motivated, will be motivated if the needs, their needs has been fulfilled or provided by the certain people or certain uh, organization, is it? Yeah, that's absolutely right. As we are human beings, we have wants, needs and demands. When these single aspects of our wants, needs and demands will be fulfilled, then we will feel motivated to achieve some goal effectively and efficiently. That's absolutely true. So can you explain in for each needs need by the uh, employee nowadays, Mr. Shah? Okay, there's actually according to the Maslow, not by me. So Maslow already explained the five basic needs means that in his hierarchy there is five segments which are known as the five model or five model mm -hmm. first one is the psychological or biological needs okay psychological needs refer to very common this means the shelter or accommodation health education like our sexual needs as well this is very basic and common and fundamental whatever i want to say okay we can consider the physiological as a basic needs is it very basic and um, every human is a uh, part of this sorry all right it's a compulsory for yeah, everyone compulsory, yes. okay so how about the second needs yeah this one is all about the safety and, uh, when you join at any company first of all you want to get you physical safetyness Perfect. like that you don't want any sexual harassment or yes. you the smooth working environment then you think about you the financial safety and security and another thing is most important than your health insurance or whatever you say the life insurance this most important thing whatever yeah. you deserve actually we prefer to be safe am i right yeah obviously okay. safety and security is everywhere yeah so the third one 
thoroughly stuff, more common is the love and belongings. It's all about the social needs. Everyone has their own family, friends and relatives as a social human being. We expect like respect, attention, affection. It's all about our feelings. No one can live with their friends, family and relatives. So that's the very basic. If you think critically in your organization, relationship between your employer and employees, employee to employee, interpersonal relationship is too important nowadays. Without this relationship, you can uh, improve your skill or you can enhance your skill or productivity nowadays. Okay, perfect. So now we can see that Mr. Shan is quite a romantic person, you can see. You right. can say like this. Okay, so enough of that three needs. So how about another two? Oh, esteem. Okay. That's the fourth one. The uh, most important thing is esteem is all about the recognition. Okay. Empowerment. Okay. So if when you get this kind of status things, when you get the recognition, when you get the training, when you get all things, you can improve yourself, you can enhance your productivity, then you can grow. So this is the most important thing actually the esteem. Power by this. Self-esteem. So do you guys need self-esteem? It's the April, I think so. Yeah. Right. This so, how about the top? The top needs. Yes, this is the four things is very fundamental. Mm. It's expected by the regular or common employee. But this one is the most ambitious things. Self actualization is all about your future things. It's all about your growth. It's all about your opportunity. Opportunity. That's right. When you think about the opportunity, when you think about the growth, then self actualization comes to the point. Some people think only to just to be general, but some people think to be something outstanding. When you want to be outstanding or when you want to be something bigger or thinking about something for tomorrow, then it's come to the point of opportunity of growth. Okay, so in other words, means um, the needs will be different from one person to another person. Obviously, because the my choice, my uh, age, race, gender may be varied from you. Obviously, vary from each to another in an organization. That's why the this kind of needs is vary from one person to another person, one employee to another employee, yes. one staff to another staff. Because yeah, we can find that some of the employee they are in the comfort zone, so their need their needs will be different compared to who are always chase for the future and yes. advancement etc. Yeah, some people are very adventurous. Mm. Some people are very curiosity. Some people thinking for to win the race, or some people are thinking, okay, let me go. Okay, perfect. I think it's a very um, solid, very uh, complete explanation made by Mr. Shan. So, Mr. Shan, can you uh, do a summarize again that five needs need by the employee? Okay, the thank one. you very much. Hi guys, this is Final Jabbar. Thank you for watching. So, if you like this video or any video, home lecture or slot MJ. You may subscribe me on YouTube, Final Jabbar, so that I can boost you with any updates, any video upload, any news from my channel. So please subscribe, and you may also uh, like my official Facebook page, www.facebook.com/homelecture. Okay, for those who are still study, and I definitely waiting for your email. You can send me any topics to be discussed to my email homelecture at gmail.com or maybe send direct to my personal email finaljaba at gmail.com thank you guys and remember never stop learning bye